Exactly. Kids love it. Yeah. They're hoping for a snow day. Already. I believe in the bell curve of snow life. It starts with max excitement as a kid. You get a little bit older, you get frustrated about the commute. Then you have kids and you're like, oh boy, what are we going to do when it's really nasty yeah. outside? Then you approach retirement, you get excited again, and then you hit retirement, you're like, I'm out. See you in Arizona. I'm going to Florida. <laughs> so there's a whole life cycle that goes with the snow. A little prelude to our winter outlook. In Boston, how many times have we seen one inch of snow in the first half of November? 11 times, 10 have featured above average snowfall for the season. We'll have that full outlook in a couple minutes. Out there tonight, there's the story. Snow is everywhere. We've got poor visibility in many spots. We're getting closer to the end of this particular one. Here's a closer look at the radar. We've got some heavier snowfall along the pike and off to the north and east, as well as on the south shore, but we're watching that mixed line. This is a product called correlation coefficient. On radar, it's looking to see, is everything Everything in here the same. Are they all snowflakes or is there something else in the cloud? And it's seeing that something else. These are ice pellets. So we can pick that out on radar. The sleet mixing in now in Worcester County. So this will be the end of your snowfall accumulation, but it will make things very icy. We're also watching that mixed line along the south coast, getting some reports there of that sleet mixing in. Temperatures are really cold across the interior. I mean, absurdly cold for mid-November and that's creating some fluff factor that will be topped with that sleet. Closer to the coast it's paced and that will be something to watch overnight as the winds increase some scattered power outages as the wind hits those coated trees. So there you see the difference from central Massachusetts we've got some totals over seven inches of snow with that really fluffy stuff. Then you go to Reading five and a half inches, Bedford four and a half, four and a half in Stoneham. Been snowing like crazy in Boston. We've got about an inch and a half to two in downtown. Now tomorrow morning we'll still be at or below freeze for much of central Massachusetts and heading up into much of southern New Hampshire. I think that's where the commute will be most challenging in the morning. We'll have that snow that's topped with sleet and freezing rain and still cold temperatures. It'll be really slippery out there in the morning. The winds are just starting to come up out of the east. Wind advisories kick in at midnight with high wind warnings on the Cape. So again, some gusts over 50 will be possible with those coated trees, some scattered outages and down trees possible late tonight and into tomorrow morning. So there's a timeline on those winds gusting over over 40 on the Cape as we approach 4 a.m., over 30 around Boston as well as over on Cape Ann. Still some gusty winds inland as well, and then they'll switch off to the northwest as we head into tomorrow afternoon. As for the snowfall, again, that mixed line is moving quickly to the north now. As we head toward tomorrow morning, it's rain to the east, but still those icy spots across the interior and one last band of snow likely during the morning across New Hampshire and northern Worcester County. Our highs will stay in the 30s for inland areas tomorrow. Low 40s in Boston, upper 40s to around 50 for Cape Cod and the islands. Then we calm it down. It's dry tomorrow night. There will be a refreeze tomorrow night. Saturday, we're in the mid 40s with mostly sunny skies, so some melting there. Cooler on Sunday, lower 40s, some late flurries possible. Another wave of low pressure is going to try to get going quickly on Monday morning. Some scattered rain and snow will be possible as that moves through the Gulf of Maine. So here's your full seven day forecast. It stays very chilly. It looks more like a Christmas forecast than a Thanksgiving one. Highs in the 30s on Tuesday and Wednesday and just low 40s on Thanksgiving itself. It does look sunny right now. All right, you know we're already getting a taste of winter. Maybe it has just wet your palate a little bit. 